Hi, my name is Brandy Joan, and today we're going to be sewing up my new puff top pattern. And this pattern is pretty straightforward. The only thing that takes a little bit of time is threading all of the elastic through because there is a lot of elastic. But other than that, it's pretty simple. So let's get to it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is sew the front shirt to the back shirt. So you're going to lay your back shirt onto the table with the right side of the fabric facing up then bring your front shirt over and lay it right on top of the back shirt with the right side of the fabric facing down. This way the right sides of the fabric are touching. Then pin them together along the side seams and sew them with a straight stitch using a 3 8 seam allowance. Once both of your side seams are sewn up, go ahead and press those seams flat and open. Then we're going to place the base of the shirt over to the side while we move on to the sleeves. And the first thing we're going to do with the sleeves is fold them together widthwise so the right sides are touching and then pin them along that inner seam and again, we're going to sew them with a 3 8 seam allowance using a straight stitch. When you have both of your sleeves sewn up, go ahead and bring them back over to your iron and you're going to press the seams flat and open just like you did with the top. Then bring the top back over and we're going to attach the sleeves to the base of the shirt. So when you're doing this, you want to make sure that you're lining up that inner arm seam on the sleeve and on the bodice. So once they're sewn together, they create a nice continuous seam that should look like this. You also want to make sure that you're lining up all of your notches and that the sleeve ends at the correct spot on the front and back shirt. They should line up right at the ends. Once you have everything pinned in place and lined up properly, go ahead and bring that back over to your sewing machine. And again, we're gonna sew this with a 3 8 seam allowance using a straight stitch. Now that both sleeves have been sewn on, the base of the shirt is done. So the first thing we're gonna do before moving on to adding our elastic channels and our elastic is to again, press these seams flat and open. After you've pressed those seams flat and open, grab your scissors and we're going to trim off a little bit of the seam allowance where the shirt meets the sleeve at the front and the back. You can see here it's a little bit of a triangle shape and this helps reduce bulk when we fold over that edge to create the elastic channel. You may need to cut off a little bit more or even a little bit less depending on the thickness of your fabric. If it's really thick, I would suggest cutting off a little bit more than I just showed you. Once you have your seams nice and prepped, we're going to fold over the neckline to create the channel for the elastic. And to do this, we're going to fold down one quarter of an inch. And I do think that pressing it in between the second fold and pinning it really does keep everything nice and crisp and make it a lot easier to sew. Once we've pressed around the whole top a quarter of an inch, we're going to fold it again by half an inch and press it one more time. When you have your entire neckline double folded, it should look like this. And then we're going to edge stitch as close as we can to that folded edge. 
to help close the elastic channel, but we're going to leave an inch or so of a gap right along the back of the shirt. So that way we can thread the elastic through the gap all the way around the shirt and out through that same hole. Press that neckline all the way around and then we're going to move on to hemming the bottom of the shirt and the sleeves. So the first thing that we want to do is grab a ruler or use your pattern to mark along that fold line that is one inch above the hem. I'm just using a ruler and measuring one inch up and I'm doing this all the way around the shirt. Then I'm going to fold it up along that line and give it a good press. Once you have the entire hem of the shirt folded up and pressed, we're going to edge stitch right along that top line as close as we can to the edge again, using a straight stitch and again leaving a one inch gap to thread the elastic through. And of course we want to go ahead and give this hem a nice good press. And now we're going to sew another line of stitching parallel to that first line, a half an inch below it. And this time we're not going to leave any gap, we're just going to sew all the way around the shirt. Of course, go ahead and give that a good press again. And when you're done, everything should look something like this. There's going to be, as you can see, the elastic channel with the parallel stitches that we're later gonna thread the elastic through. And now it's time to move on to the sleeves. And we're just going to repeat the same steps that we did with the hem of the shirt on the sleeves. So we're going to trace our fold line or measure up an inch from the bottom of the sleeve to create that line, then press it along that line. Sew a line of stitching, leaving an inch gap. Then sew your line of parallel stitching right below it, making sure you close that line, you're not leaving a gap. Repeat these steps with both sleeves. When both of your sleeves are hemmed, it's time to start adding the elastic to the shirt and we're going to start with the neckline. So cut your piece of elastic according to your size in the size chart. Attach a bodkin or a bobby pin or a safety pin to the end of your elastic and thread it through the gap that we left on the neckline. This part does take a little bit of time, just make sure you're threading it all the way through, it's not getting twisted, and then pull it out to the other side. Then take both ends of the elastic and you want to not sew them together like this, okay? We don't want to create any bulk, we want to overlap the two so they look like this. And then we're going to sew those in place so they lay nice and flat. I do recommend backstitching a bunch of times just to make sure your elastic stays throughout your time wearing it. And then all that's left to do is thread the elastic through the hem and the sleeves of the shirt the same way that you did the neckline. And when you're done, go ahead and sew up the gaps that you left, trying your best to blend it into the original stitch line, and you're done. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your new top. And if you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other patterns in my Etsy shop linked below.